when you traveled to um, India, no, Cambodia, what, um, what motivated you to join that trip and, and how many times did you go and what impact did it leave on you? So during my hiring process, I remember uh, Jason and Jennifer saying, you know, oh, we can't interview you just yet because we're going to Kenya. And I was like, what? Yeah, Kenya. What the heck? Like, who are you? Why are <laughs> right. you going off to Kenya? Um, so when they got back and during my interview, they were talking about their trip with me and, and talking about, you know, there was Kenya first and then they were going to Cambodia and whatnot. And I was just like, blew my mind to ever think I was just going to do hair, you know? Like, knowing like, oh my gosh, I want to do it. I want to do it. And then the thought of the expense was like, kind of set me back. Like, you'll never be able to do it, Ashley. So it was just... It was meant to be when huh. Cambodia is talked about, even right now, like my heart pounds and that's wow. how I knew that it was something that it needed to be done. So since that very first trip, I have gone on four trips to Cambodia. The very last trip that I went on, I actually led by myself. Usually Jason and Jennifer go, so we have like mom and dad to lead the pack. Right. So they needed to step back and someone else needed uh. to take lead and they were like you know gave some people some options and i just said let me pray on it and see if this is god's will and not my own because selfishly i'm like heck yeah I'll you're pray, right you know? <laughs> so I, this was how many times have you been had you been was, i had been three times three times already. okay so this so, is the fourth the fourth time so i went and i led a group of i think it was seven of us so nobody got sick nobody died everybody came back <laughs> you home. brought them back that's good <laughs> yeah so um yeah it just it just worked and i mean it's it's a, a crazy amazing feeling to to touch lives that you never may ever 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 cross paths with again and uh -huh. to know like if i'm leaving just a bit of hope then i'm doing what you know god has intended to okay do. and do, do you want to tell us about how many times you've been what inspired you to go and how you felt or what what impact it left yeah, with you um i was inspired to go kind of the same jennifer was interviewing me she was like we just got back from cambodia however many months ago and shonda had, was shonda's first trip had gone and uh, she's like it totally changed your life she's like you're gonna come with us one day and i was like you are crazy <laughs> like i just wanted like learn how to do hair right um but i had been with the company probably two or two years or so uh, we've gone on three trips together um, each trip was super different but super awesome and I think those girls taught me more than I could ever teach them yeah and uh, I don't know the biggest thing I take away from that place is hope there's so much hope there. <clears throat> it's insane how do you feel um, how do you feel your impact was on their lives um, I think we gave them hope as well and we gave them like like the kind of hope they gave me was different. The kind of hope we gave them is like they can be successful and they're worth way more than they ever imagined. Could you, or, could you see that change manifesting in their lives yes, while you were with them? You could. It's really crazy I, to watch. I think the biggest thing is that they were um, seen, you mm -hmm. know, and heard. They were seen and heard for probably the first times in their lives. You wow. know, of saying, "Here's people who are coming from." America, you know, the hands on, speak with them, sit on the floor with them, eat dinner with them, um, and just be, you know, hands and feet of, you know, Jesus. So it just worked that that was my thing mm -hmm. of, okay, they feel seen, they feel heard, they feel felt and loved. So, so they have found a new value in yeah. their lives. Can you tell us a little bit about what you did with the girls while you were there? Yeah, so we were there. Uh, Initially, just to teach vocational training and teach them how to cut better, color better. Um, they don't have really any training, so that's what we were there for. But then we end up, you know, building relationships with these girls who we watch get married on Facebook. Wow. And stuff like that. So, so yeah, initially have, it's just hands-on right. type thing. They have a salon, or in Cambodia where we went was um, called Open Arms. So they have a salon and then they have a school too. So they train these girls um, who are funded by NGOs that have been pulled or rescued from any uh, difficult situations. Um, and we were to go over and train uh, the school and train or train the main trainers in the salon that we're actually doing services on clients.
Right. What's an NGO? A non-government organization. Okay. Right. How long was each trip that you're talking about? Ten days. Ten days. Okay. Ten days. So there's a a lot a lot of time for a trip, but not much time to interact and right. and and build. The communication was super mm-hmm. hard because yeah. they speak Khmer, we uh-huh. speak English. So and one of the girls, the ones that we the one that we watched get married, she was actually the daughter of the one who owns Open Arms. So her English was super fluent. So she would be our communicator and some, but it was super difficult when you have 20 plus girls that you're training and one um, translator who's also servicing clients at the same time. Wow. So it's like, straight up, straight up, <laughs> you know, hey, we need you and stuff. But I mean, the, the beauty of the hair industry, I mean, you can watch each other's hands and, you know, show how to do foils and color and whatnot. So that way, Yes, we weren't using words, but we, we got each other. You have your own language. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much.